Hey, are you awesome people? Welcome back to another episode of Celeste. That's my manly juice right there. Um, we're back. We're uh, last time we had a really bad dream and this crazy person was chasing us, and then we called our uh, our boyfriend who had like a really high voice and it was funny. And uh, now we're back, and things are less weird, uh, which is cool. But now we get to venture around. Sorry for the longer episode last time. Hey, Theo, what's up, boy? How you doing, boy? We didn't see you last episode, so... I'm coming, Theo. You're my new boyfriend. You're super cute. What's up, boy? Hey, Penny. You made it. Climbing up there... Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. Took so many great picks. Want to see? Want to see my picks? Uh, sure. On my iPad phone. Theo, these are great. Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these goals, bro. Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy, like this. Kachank. Aw. They put that hand, like, Penny's hand on his chest for a reason. It's like, it's like, they're like this right now. They're gonna be like that. Like, not, they're gonna, they're gonna become friends. Good, good friends. <laughs> she wasn't too happy about that. Sorry about that. Don't worry, y'all. I won't post that one. No, it's all right. You can post it. I'm just not photogenic. Penny, don't be so hard on yourself. That one looks good without a filter. <laughs> Dude. Oh, now that looks good. Can we select a different filter? That'd be cool. That looks a bit too vintage for me. Casual, yet refined. Uh, let's talk to Theo more. I like this guy. If, it, if it's not obvious already. What made you want to t uh, try photography? Grandpa was really into it. Apparently he was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it. But it's nice to feel close to him. That's cool. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals, I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, but I'm not ready to turn back just yet. I take a lot of things in games, like, metaphorically and maybe foreshadowy a little bit. I hope you don't die. Just just from that sentence alone, hope you don't die. I like you. Obviously, you're meant to like him. Madison McGarrel, she's like, he's kind of, I, I forget what word she used, but kind of like cocky a little bit. You getting any data up here? But I like him. I don't have a smartphone. Dummy. Penny, I don't even know how to respond to that. Okay, well, if you say things like... <laughs> yeah, Penny's done talking to him at this point. Well, yeah, don't say things like that, Theo. I'm, I'm trying to vouch for you here. Against my girlfriend's words of hate. Oh, uh, no! <clears throat> oh, we could have gone up this way earlier. Herp. Herp. We're going the secret route, boys and girls. Probably just girls. Probably just one girl. Hi, Madison. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? What is that? What are you? There's a dusty old book open on the table. A poem is written on the faded page. An apparition, not of this world, just but because of it lurking out of frame. Away, my heart is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. I was um, preparing to rhyme um, because it was a poem, but apparently that person doesn't know how poems work. Also, I want this heart. It, it's cool. Don't know what it does, but no, I actually don't know what it does because the person I watch, uh, Pooh, as I said last time, Grand Pooh Bear, he uh, didn't show how how that works. So. Alright then, uh, that's sitting there, and we'll come back to it later, maybe. Oh, can't go over there, I guess. I wish, um, I wish, well, 
I guess from a development standpoint, it's kind of hard, but like falling through screens, I wish there just wasn't an invisible wall in random places. Um, it really breaks the immersion for me, bro. You know, like, cause this game is so immersive with its pixel. Well, I, I could, I could say that it doesn't have to be completely unpixelated to be immersive. You know, like get connected with the characters and crap. Like, it doesn't have to be like 4K graphics and stuff. You know, pixel. Ah, oh, damn. It. All right, kill me, Spike. How are we gonna do this one? So we start over here, obviously. Just need to get my burry. What's up, girl? Ah, I caught you. <laughs> okay. I don't believe there's anything up, so that was all just for a strawberry. Again. I wish there was. Well, there's a lot of things you can want from a perfect game. Um, perfect, as in. You know, there can always be well for any game that matter. You wanna you wanna get something else in, out of the game, but like if there's a way to tell like this is where berries are, this is where you're supposed to go, a bit easier, that would be helpful. But oh well, we're here at the phone already. Wonder what's in there. Who's on the phone? Is it my girly boyfriend? I guess I called him. Oh, it's Mama. Mama? Maybe Mama. Hello? <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> I'll give her Toad's voice. Betty, what a nice surprise! <laughs> that hurts. How's your trip? <laughs> it's okay, I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? <laughs> her voice changes every time. Focus on your breathing, honey, I'm here. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Well, her mom seems nice. She seems caring. Like, whoa, what's happening? What's happening with you, girl? All right, chapter two. A lot less berries. I was, um, I feel like those are all, B-side. I feel like those are all from, uh, from the chase, though. Because the chase was spooky. I didn't want to, I was like, no siree. I don't, I don't want any of that. So, that's cool. I got 18 out of 20 here. Didn't do the B side. Got 11 out of 18 here. Uh, did not do the B side yet. And I haven't gotten that heart. Is there a heart in the first one too, you think? I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see, I guess. So, uh, we might want to go back, like, do an episode for, like, berries, you know? Might want to do that. But let's just jump into the hotel right now. Be proud of your death count. The more you die, the more you're learning. Keep going. That's like the best advice to give for like a game that you die like 400 times. But we're here. We're on episode four, and we're we're on chapter three. Isn't that pretty pretty neat? So uh, there's some there's goopy stuff. I don't like El Goop. El Goopy. No. Do you know how to say goop in Spanish? El goop. Learned that from Spanish class. That's what they teach us in, in uh, high school. Be proud of me. Be proud of me. Be proud of me, baba. All right. Strawberry. Don't know how to get you. Um. Can't go over the top. And if I dash into there, I can't dash out. Um, well, I dashed... Uh, do one of those. Yeah. And then get up here and dash. Okay, cool. Easy berry. Easy money. GM City. We're in GM City, y'all. There's a key up there and a lock, which you would assume that a lock can go with a key. You get what I'm you get what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm throwing down here. Can we go up here? Ooh. How do we get that? Guess that'll be later probably. Because it's open to the right in there. So I like the key animation when it's following me around. That's cool. Let's head on in. What was this again? Oh. <laughs> well, you couldn't see it, but the it imme immediately closed behind me. The door. So, well, that's cool. 
All right, then. Um, I think this is a hotel. I, I think that's what it said in the beginning. This is all new content for me. Just so you know, because I only watched episodes one and two, or, or like chapters one and two. So this is all going to be like, I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> Please ring for service. Ding dong. What? <laughs> what the heck? Welcome, may I help you? Are you a ghost? A ghost? Don't be silly. I am the concierge of this fine establishment. Concierge? Concierge? Concierge. Concierge! Welcome to the world-renowned Celestial Resort Hotel. Mr. O'Shiro, at your service. Two guests in one day. Business is finally picking up. Um. Okay, so I'm the second guest. First guest could either be Demon Lady. Which, maybe that's just in my brain, you know? It's like a metaphor for, like, me wanting to turn back. Or it could be, uh, Theo. Either or. How long will you be staying with us? Oh, I'm just passing through. I'm climbing the mountain. I've made this girl, like, progressively less sassy. She needs her sass back. Do you have a back exit? <laughs> back exit, eh? <laughs> Uh, back exit? Just passing through, this will not do. You know I can still hear you, right? In any case, our rear service door is reserved for hotel staff only. However, our top floor presidential suite features a world-class view of the peak. Yes, you're, you'll be quite comfortable up there. Maybe I could get on the roof from there and climb back down? Or climb down the back? The presidential suite. Marvelous idea, Hoshiro. What is your name for our records? I'm Penny. But again, I'm not... I'm really not interested in staying. Right this way, Miss Penny. Okie dokie. What's this? It appears to be a very old... and dusty guest book. Many of the pages are damaged or missing. The comments, however, are glowing. We'll never forget our time here. I've never felt more at peace. Thank you. Could also be foreshadowing in some way or another, but... Okay, then. Alright, so the ghost just uh, flew over all of this. Ghost just flew over all this mess, apparently, so that's cool. I have to deal with it, and he's like... See ya! Yeet! Ah! No. Bad. Okay. I want that strawberry. I want it bad. I want it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it looked harder than it was. No. <laughs> no, please. Okay. Easy room. Easy money. Getting money. Disrespecting females and acquiring currency. That's what I like to say. That's, uh... Oh, wait. What was to the right? Okay, a door with a lock. So, probably getting this key. So, how do we get this key, you ask? Well, we uh, go through this room that is presented to us. And just like that, easy money. We uh, we get in things. So that's cool. No! Oh, I have the key. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I don't know what the creepy laugh was for. <laughs> Claps in the back. Clap back. Ooh. Dang. Got worms on the walls. Like, grow bad things. That's cool. Hmm. Okay, then. I'm not sure if I enjoy, you know, climbing in on worms and, like, them taking parts of me and turning it into black stuff that I can't touch. Kind of weird if you think about it, um, but you know, game mechanics need need to work somehow. Okey pokey. This music is so good. All this game's music is so good. I've never bought a soundtrack for a game, like just because you know, game music isn't like stuff I listen to, like just to listen to, but 
I could see myself just like for like driving and stuff, like driving home. I could see myself doing, you know, some listening to this stuff. Please follow me closely, Miss Penny. The elevator's just down the hall. The hotel is in pretty rough shape. Is it really open for business? No, of course we're open. The Celestial Resort Hotel would never close during a prime tourism season. Rough shape? What did she mean by that? Oh, please, allow me to carry your luggage. My bag? Uh, no thanks. I'll keep it. Hmm, very well. What a peculiar guest. Hmm. What a peculiar ghost. Am I right, fellas? Up top. High five. Three, two, one. Yeah. High five. All right, we're done with this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this relatively short episode compared to the last one. Going to try to keep it around 15 minutes, though. Hopefully you're enjoying this game. I'm enjoying the crap out of it. Um, if it could do that. So for, I, uh, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we'll be back with another episode shortly. And we'll be playing more of this game and enjoying more of it and listening to more of its music and doing more of its platforming. So, thank you for watching and stay sweet.